shall I use 15 or 20 amp receptacles on a 20 amp circuit? Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and I have been asked recently on some videos I've made about a big house renovation I've been doing, and in the kitchen countertops, I put 20 amp receptacles, and several viewers have asked, why did you use 20 amp receptacles? And that's a very good question, and it deserves a good thorough answer. So let's do it. As is traditional on Sparky Channel, we're going to go straight to the 2023 NEC Codebook and the 2023 NEC Handbook. Here we are at 2023 NEC 210.21 Outlet Devices. And this is B receptacles, one single receptacle on an individual branch circuit. And we have the Delta symbol here, which means there's a change for this year in 2023. So we're talking about single receptacle on an individual branch circuit. A single receptacle installed on an individual branch circuit shall have an ampere rating not less than that of the branch circuit. I want you to notice it says receptacle. It doesn't say receptacles. This means that if you had a 20 amp circuit, you would have to put a 20 amp single receptacle on it. But we have down here, it says informational note. See, and this is the change for 2023. See article 100 for the definition of receptacle. So that's what we're going to do now. Here's the definition of receptacle in the 2023 NEC. A contact device installed at the outlet for the connection of an attachment plug or for the direct connection of electrical utilization equipment designed to mate with the corresponding contact device. A single receptacle is a single contact device with no other contact device on the same yoke or strap. A multiple receptacle is two or more contact devices on the same yoke or strap. Informational note, a duplex receptacle is an example of a multiple receptacle that has two receptacles on the same yoke or strap. On your left is a 20 amp single receptacle and on your right is a 20 amp multi-receptacle which more specifically is called a duplex receptacle. This explanation in blue is from my 2023 NEC handbook. Now a handbook is just like the NEC code book but they add little explanations like this and they add photographs and drawings and they just try to help you out to understand the codes. This says a single receptacle installed on an individual branch circuit must have an ampere rating not less than that of the branch circuit. For example, a single receptacle on a 20 ampere individual branch circuit must be rated at 20 amperes in accordance with 210.21B1. However, two or more 15 amp single receptacles or a 15 ampere duplex receptacle are permitted on a 20 ampere branch circuit in accordance with 210.21 B3. And here we are at table 210.21 B3 and we have a delta symbol here which means that there is a change for 2023. So this is receptacle ratings for circuits serving more than one receptacle or receptacle outlet. So we had circuit rating in amps and receptacle rating in amps. A 15 amp circuit rating must have a 15 amp receptacle rating. 20 amp circuit rating can have a 15 or 20 amp receptacle rating. 30 is 30, 40 amps is 40 or 50, and 50 amp circuit rating needs a 50 amp receptacle rating. And now to answer the question of why I used a 20 amp receptacle rather than 15 amp receptacles. Okay, so this is a Leviton Decora Plus 20 amp receptacle. It is specification grade and commercial grade. This is a Leviton 15 amp receptacle and it is residential grade. You see the difference in the areas where you would plug your plug into the receptacle. These grab a lot harder and that means there's less heat buildup and I just think that's a, a 
higher quality plug area. Now let's discuss the pass-through function of these receptacles. See, this is your pass-through area right here for the 20 amp receptacle. The amperage would come in here and it would go, it would pass through this piece here, go to this terminal, and then this wire would go on to another receptacle downstream. Over here, you see the pass-through area is much smaller. And you see the terminals are much smaller. Here's your 20 amp receptacle. See how much bigger the terminals are themselves? See how much bigger the pass-through piece right here is? You see, there's a big difference in quality. And this is rated for 20 amp pass-through. This can be put on a 20 amp circuit. You see, but it is much smaller and in my opinion, a lesser quality pass-through area. The pass-through area on this 20 amp receptacle is much beefier, much better, and to me, much safer. And now let's talk about grounding. Okay, this 20 amp receptacle has this nice thick strap on the back and it goes, you see, it, it goes to your grounding terminal and you have an area here where you really don't have to wrap the wire around the terminal if you don't want to. You can if you want, but you can put it right in there and just tighten it down. Here you have a, a yoke right here, a yoke right here, and the strap is much smaller and it's inside the receptacle. And you have to uh, wrap your wire around the terminal. There's no clamping mechanism. So to me, the grounding on this 20 amp receptacle is better, beefier, and safer. So while this 15 amp receptacle can be put on a 20 amp circuit, according to code, I prefer to use the much beefier 20 amp receptacle. However, there is a 15 amp receptacle that I would consider using on my kitchen circuit. Both of these receptacles are in the Leviton line and they're both called Decora Plus. Both of them are spec grade and commercial grade. Both the 20 amp and the 15 amp Leviton Decora Plus receptacles have the beefy pass-through area. You see, it's really exactly the same. We got the 20 amp right here, the 15 amp right here. They both have the big, strong uh, terminal screws right here. And it, it's all pretty much identical. And then when you turn them over, you see they have the same excellent strap in the back for your grounding system. They both have the clamping mechanisms. They both have clamping mechanisms for your wires. And so they're really excellent. Uh, this one grabs your plug just as well as this one. The main difference is this is 20 amp and this is 15 amp. And this, this has your, your horizontal area right here and here. And so this is a 15 amp receptacle that I would consider is just a, a preference that I chose the 20 amp receptacle. So uh, in conclusion, uh, there's no way that I would use one like this. It's just, I'm just not going to do it. These are very low quality. They're cheap. They're tested. They're, they're UL approved and so forth. But uh, I've seen them burn up and I, I just don't want to use them. Okay, this one I would definitely use right here. This is the Decora Plus Leviton. Uh, but this is what I chose. It's the basic answer of my choosing the 20 amp over the 15 amp is that I had a preference for the 20 amp. I chose the tamper resistant models for my backsplash. And maybe someday, 20 years down the line, we'll have an appliance that needs a 20 amp receptacle for its 20 amp plug. You never know. I hope this video shed some light on why I chose the receptacles that I chose. And I hope that it will help you in choosing the receptacles for your projects. Of course, I'll put links in my video description for all the various devices seen in the video except for this device. I'm not putting a link for that. <laughs> Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.